All right, Shalom. Shalom. With the brothers from Great Millstone, Atlanta, here with another lesson. Uh, Lord willing, the lesson be edifying. But before we get started, as always, want to give our praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahat Dash. We would also like to give double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Also want to say peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their lives on the line to do so. I want to say shalom to you, brothers. I'm the brother Arak. Got the brother Shamat with me. Um, and we're just going to get into a, you know, uh, a quick lesson, not too long. Uh, Lord, wouldn't it be edifying? Um, and as you can see from the title, uh, the fear of the Lord is what keeps us in check. All right. Because we know the power of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son. OK, we're not under the illusion that the Lord is all one way. Uh, love, full of love, forgiveness and mercy. You know, we know uh, to like the other side of the coin. We know uh, the Alishaja, the man. You know, we know what the Lord is capable of and we know what he's uh, going to do when he comes back. To uh to to judge the earth, man. So we're not under this uh fake facade that when the Lord comes back, He's coming back to save everybody, no matter the iniquities that you've committed, no matter uh your sexual orientation, no matter your nationality. Hey, we know the real spill, if you will, and in knowing that, that's what keep us in check. You know, the fear that when He comes back us not being right and we're judged with the wicked all right that keeps us on the straight and narrow all right because if you uh have the perception of the lord just being all love and forgiving you know that doesn't uh strike fear in you or you don't think any consequences will come for the uh for the uh actions that you commit you know and all brothers are familiar, you know, when, when you know that consequences are coming down the pipeline for your actions, you tend to act right. You know, you, you, you tend to uh, stay on the straight and narrow. OK, so you got that, bro. Con, I got you. This is uh, when we get now. Con. This is first Samuel chapter two, verse six. It reads, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Yeah. So we know that the Lord doeth all these things. You know, it says the Lord kill. And we don't want to be killed. You know, we want to go into the kingdom of heaven, you know, uh, without tasting death. Yeah. All right. But there's things that we have to do in order to get there. And fear in the Lord will help us to get there. All right. Fear in the Lord is actually a commandment. All right. And if you don't fear the Lord, that means you have no respect for him. You don't have any reverence for him. And you're just going to do whatever the hell you want to do. You know, and that's going to lead uh, you to uh, damnation. All right. Mm -hmm. And we're not. Uh, we went into it last count. There's going to be good judgment and there's going to be bad. judgment. We want to be on the good judgment side, which is that crown of life and eternal life. Uh, you know, that, that the Lord promised us. You got something you want to add, bro? Con, I just go. Uh, I had a precept just to follow what you've been saying. Go ahead. This, this is uh, Sirach chapter 19, verse 18. It reads, The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him, and wisdom obtain of his love. And mm -hmm. just like the brothers was mentioning, you know, those that don't fear Yahweh by Shemia Shai, okay, you really don't respect them, okay, and, uh, and, uh, and those that do fear him show that you really believe in him, that really shows your faith. If when you fear you how about Shemia Al Shai. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'll read that one more time. It's, um Sirach chapter 19, verse 18. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him and wisdom obtain of his love. So yeah, we, we're trying to, like the brothers mentioned, those we're trying to, we're striving to be accepted, you know, to be delivered. Okay, when when Yahweh Shai does return, that's what we're going, that's what meditates through our mind each and every day. All right, each each and every brother, man. Okay, to, right. a, to be accepted of Yahweh by Shemia Al Shai. Con, hey, since you brought that out, Bob Kashad, grab Proverbs 9 and 10. Uh, because that's a beautiful point, you know, because a wise person will seek out what is pleasing to Yahweh by Shimei Shai and try to do those things. But those that are unwise and not prudent, 
they take what the pastor tell them and look at the image, which is portrayed of the Lord, which is a so-called white man with blonde hair and blue eyes, uh, blue eyes looking real effeminate, you know, looking like he wouldn't harm a fly. But we know the Lord is coming back for vengeance, man. You know, we know that the Lord, uh, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. All right. We know that according to Isaiah, the 66 chapter, that the slaying of the Lord shall be many, you know, because we've woken up to the fact of who the Lord really is, you know, and that's a level a level of, of wisdom. OK, go ahead. Uh, this is Proverbs chapter nine, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Yeah. Hey, the, the, the beginning of uh, fear is the beginning, man. You know, so it starts there. You know, I know me, myself personally, and a lot of other brothers, the fear of what the Lord is going to do when he comes back is mm -hmm. what ultimately got us uh, off our ass, man, and, and got in the fight to do the work, you know, because we didn't want to be partakers in that judgment, yeah. you know. See them, uh, <laughs> this place is going to be destroyed by missiles, you know, the famines, the pestilence, all of that. It's like, oh, yeah. shit, you know, I don't want to. I want no parts of that. Let me get right and yep. do what's required of me by the Heavenly Father. All right. That fear keeps us in check. You know, yep. we know we're going to get reward, too. But it's actually the fear over the reward is the what really, you know, keeps us on that straight and skinny. If I can you back up your point, too. Uh, yep. you no, know, just to back with that, uh, just to quickly add, you know, that uh, that fear is, you know, weighs over that reward because truly we don't know. That's why we say, Lord willing, you know, that we're, we are those men to be protected and escape in that day of wrath and the Lord's wrath. You know, that's why that's why we believe, man. If I could, I got a scripture to back you up, what you were saying, you know. You got it, bro. You got it, bro. Yeah, this, kind of, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. So yeah, knowing the terror of the Lord, just like the brother mentioned, when we hear about when we heard about those missiles, when we heard about those deadly diseases that's coming, we heard about those families, we heard about martial law. You know, we didn't want to get we didn't want to get caught up in that, man. You know, that was like, oh shit, how did and then we found out what through the men of the Lord, of course, through the prophets, through our through our teachers, okay, that we and there is a way to escape and by our faith, man, by our fear, you know. And then we was like, oh, okay, this is what I gotta do. Are we gonna do it? You know, of course it's hiccups here and there, but hey, that's just the fight, you know, that's the fight, that's a good fight of faith. You know exactly. exactly. Um, it said through the uh, uh, through the fear of the Lord, oh, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. You know, they call us fear mongers. Hey, we'll take that. All right, yeah. whatever it takes to get through the Jake, you know, to get them right. You know, we're 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 up for that. All right, because the more that are brought in, the uh, the closer we are to sealing the elect and ultimately getting out of this captivity that we're in. And mm -hmm. and if you ain't, hey, I'm gonna put it this way: if you're not able to make Jake cooperate through fear, then they just can't be saved at the end of the day. You know, Jake's out here who ain't scared to go to jail. They ain't scared to kill. They ain't scared. Of, you can't do nothing with a soul like that, man. Mm -hmm. That don't fear nothing. You know, and Jake love to say, "I don't fear number God." Niggas don't even fear God because right. if they did, they wouldn't move the way that they move. You mm -hmm. know, they would do their their best to keep the law, statutes, and the commandments to the best of their ability, all right? And one of the commandments is to fear the Lord, yep. okay? They don't think uh, that they have to give answers for the things that they uh, do down here on the earth, the sins that they commit, you know, because we're in a period of grace. But grace doesn't give us green light to go to hell off because at right. the end of the day, once that grace period is over, we have to give an account for everything that we've done uh, in uh, meantime, in between time, all right. Uh, you had some. If uh, not, if you didn't. If you not, you can you can grab what you want to get. Kind. Uh, Baba Kasai, could you grab me Deuteronomy, uh, ten, uh, start at verse twelve, Baba Kasai. Kind. This is Deuteronomy chapter ten, verse twelve. It reads, and now Israel, what do of the Lord thy power require of thee? Hey, but, so what do the Lord require of the nation of Israel? Go ahead up. 
but to fear the Lord, thy power to walk in all his ways and to love him. Yeah, to, that's, that's what the Lord is required of us, require of us, man, to fear him and walk in the ways in which he uh, he's mapped out or he's written for us to follow. OK, and you do that or what keeps you because uh, we know we fall short. You know, we're, mm -hmm. we're in these chains of darkness. But what gets us back on track is the fear of the Lord clipping our ass. All right. Or one of our one of our loved ones. OK, yeah. those of our household. Mm -hmm. All right. And then knowing that, that that gives us a, a reality check, man, you know, mm -hmm. because the scriptures tell us um, not to let our sins weigh us down. So it's going to happen. But how you counteract is is important. OK, so knowing that all of these things that the Lord is able to do, um, the scripture tell you, I believe that Matthew 20, that uh, to fear not them that can kill the flesh, but mm -hmm. fear him that can kill the, both flesh and uh, spirit, if you will. And that's the Lord. That's the ultimate power to fear. You know, Jake fear Esau, you know, because he know Esau's judgment is going to come down right away. You know, if right. the nigga Jay walk or run a red light and Esau see him, he go to jail right then and there. But since the Lord doesn't judge uh, people right away on most occasions, it continues, they, they continue to do the things in which they've done because they don't fear the Lord. All right. They figure, oh, shit, I got away with it this time. I got away with it that time. You know, not knowing that the angels are recording everything and taking it back to the Heavenly Father, man, giving them a report on everything that you do. So you're not getting away with it. You know, uh, it was a more on that. I read uh, verse, what did, what did you was at 12? Yeah, verse 12. Read, read uh, 13 and 14, Bobby Shaw. Come on. I, got, I finish off that verse. Um, it continues to say, it says, And to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord in his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Mm -hmm. Behold, continue on. It says, Behold, the heaven in the heaven of heavens is the Lord thy powers. It said, The earth also with all that therein is. Mm hmm and that was pretty much the point of verse 13. Uh, so, yeah, man, fearing the Lord is what is required of us. You know, mm -hmm. it's not this mandatory, man. It's not an option. OK, right. that scripture said it's required of us to fear him. OK, so it's not something you can just. All right. If I want to fear him, I can fear him. But if I really don't say, you know, I'll be good. No, nah, man, mm -hmm. you'll be good. All right. Good and judged, you know. You got it, bro. Come, I had uh just to back up your point because in that scripture too, with Deuteronomy chapter ten verse twelve, spoke about Israel, man. And the reason, you know, our people fail to realize the reason we in these situations is uh the predicaments we in now because we're under the curses, man. Because what we didn't fear the Lord, our power. We put we put idol worship over the Lord. We did our we, we put our own thoughts over the Lord. But you know, the, when we do turn back to the Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, and of course it's going to last forever and ever in the kingdom of heaven. Nothing can stop the Israelites, man. We are, we are, you know, uh, princes of the power, man, you know? So this is uh, Judah chapter 5, verse 19. And I give a shout out to the brother Kaliah for, the, you know, for this for this precept, man. All right, Judah chapter 5, verse 19. The heathen, this is the heathen, you know, speaking upon our power, man, the power of the Israelites. It reads, yeah, verse 19 says, But now are they returned to their power and are now come up from the places where they were scattered and have possessed Jerusalem, where their, where their sanctuary is and are seated in the hill country, for it was desolate. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we shall overcome them. So he either understood, like, they, if they're not right with Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, they don't fear, they're not doing what he's, they're not serving him, then we can, he, the Lord won't allow us to overtake them. All right. Mm -hmm. But verse 21. It says, but if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them and their power be for them. And we become a reproach before all the world. So hey, when we get right, which we're doing now through the tabernacle of David, through the elect, Lord, when we be of that number, hey, the Lord is going, the Lord is about to show the world. I mean, he's about to show all the other nations that their, their power, their philosophy, their principalities hey, don't, don't even compare. You know, the world is about to see very soon, man, you know. Exactly. Exactly. You know, 
And the heathen, like the brother said, the heathens realize that what's wrong with you, Jakes, man? You know? <laughs> yeah. But uh, the scripture tell us, man, the ox know of his owner and the ass is master crib, but uh, Israel do not consider, you know? And plantation Christianity has further put our people in a hole, you know? It, it's not about fearing the Lord in Christianity, you know? It's about paying them tithes and come in, come in in your Sunday's best. Hooping, holler, sweat, uh, worship, uh, white Jesus, you know, that, that loves everybody and everybody is going to be okay in the day that the Lord returns. All right. These people are not knowing the scriptures, man. That's not the Lord. You know, we were created in this image. So the Lord has more than one, uh, emotion, if you will. You know, we started off with first Samuel saying the Lord kill us. He make it the lies. He bring us up. You know, you put it down. That's an all around person. The Lord deals with balance. All right. Mm -hmm. So in order to um, uh, to to be a balanced and a just power, he has to do multiple things. You know, he has to be uh, a facet of many different uh, uh, ways, not just one way. You know, that's not uh, that's not balance. You know, right. uh, unjust weight is an abomination. And the Lord is a power uh, that he shall not lie, man. So if he say he coming back to render his anger with fury of fire, you know, that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> All right. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And then knowing that, like the, like the title of the lesson, that's what keeps us in check. That's what keeps us in the fight. That's what keeps us pushing the names, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, mm -hmm. uh, keeping his laws and statutes and commandments to the best of our ability. Uh, going out uh, on the highways and hedges teaching, you know, fear is what keeps us, you know, uh, motivated or keeps us uh, in check, you know, because we don't want to meet, um, we don't want to meet the Lord, man, uh, when he comes back this second time. And that, like, you know, we want to be rewarded when he come back. All right. Um, I got some real quick. This is uh, Psalms 25 and 12. It says, what man is he? that fear of the Lord. Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease and his seed shall inherit the earth. You know, that's what we want. Mm -hmm. Okay. We want to be the first governing body of, of the kingdom of heaven. Those that had not uh, tasted death. Now all Israel is going to be in the kingdom of heaven, but they're going to have to come back through the loins of uh, an elect man, okay? But on this side, they're going to taste death, all right? And, you know, Jake talk shit all they want to my dang scared to die. You better be, because when the Lord has everything pop off, it ain't going to be no quick, straight death. You know, the Lord may let you suffer and starve to death. You know, he may take you all the way through Jacob's trouble. You survive all that just to eat a missile, all right? So don't think it's just going to be a, a quick tap out. You know, you're going to be able to uh, just just down the spot. No, nah, man, you, whatever the Lord sees fit for you to go through, you're going to have to go through it. All right. Torture, you know, all of that concentration camps. Who want to go through that shit, man? Exactly. You know, we may go through it, too. But in the end, we shall be saved. You know, if we are of the elect, you know, that's why we say we the hopeful. And we do the things out of fear in order to make our calling and election sure. And diligence, man. You know? You had some, bro? Kind of, yeah, I had something real quick. You got uh, it. Yeah, because the brother, you know, keep continues to mention that, you know, we that this fear keeps us in check because the Lord, you how about Shimia Shai, we know <laughs> there is nothing as far fetched than what he can do, man. And it, it can come immediately. Some just cause just because some judgment doesn't come quick, others can, you know. And then when, mm -hmm. we, when we see, because, you know, our people, you know, like, like the brother mentioned, Isaiah 1 and 3, you know, Israel do not consider. These people don't, these people don't put that in their mind what the Lord can truly do. All right. That's why our people really going to need that wake up call. And it's, and it's coming. That wake up call is coming, man. You know, but this is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. See, hmm. the Lord, when the Lord, when the Lord shows the uh the Israelites, man, because the judgment starts at the house of Israel, man, He's gonna show his people first because that's what a covenant lies, man. You know, but when you when people when these people see examples, 
then that's gonna be like, oh, now I see why I now I see why the men of the Lord were, were, were warning, sending out those warnings, you know, mm -hmm. week in and week out, you know, because it's a fearful thing, man. You know, we don't want to be, we don't need, we don't need to see examples. Our mind can write, write our can already imagine it, man. You know, just exactly. through the scriptures alone. We don't need, we don't need to see that, man. We we believe all the scriptures in our faith, man. You know, exactly, exactly. You know, Jake be wanting to sign. Even when he be what Jake be wanting to sign, hey, you can get the sign because that sign ain't what I want, man. I, yeah. I believe on his words and what he say is true, you know, and just basically based off that, you know, is enough to get me and the hope they let right, man. Mm -hmm. But you hard headed Jakes that want to do what you want to do, that don't think the Lord is going to uh, require anything of your iniquity, you know, hey, keep on, man, you know. And the Lord, hey, he'll he'll man the action. He'll show you better than he can tell you, right. you know. But hey, we don't want we we believe you, Lord. We don't want that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Right. You got a precept, bro. Kind of, yeah, I got one. Go ahead. Uh. This is uh Matthew chapter twelve, verse thirty six. It reads, "But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak." They shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Because the brother just mentioned, you know, you know, our people are quick to say, man, well, I got to see it to believe it. You know, I got to, you know, you know how Jake is. Jake, you know, Jake lacked faith, man. But people got to fail to understand that they got to give account, man. You people got to count the cost. You got to at least consider, you know, at least, you know, you know, map out how the hell you're going to get through these times, man. If, if you don't see it coming, you know, it's a mm -hmm. give account thereof in the day of judgment. So judgment is on the way. And like the brother mentioned before, there's good and bad judgment. We want to be on that good side of deliverance instead of on the on the, on the evil side of being put to death, man. Us not just not it's just, this, and that's what people federalize too. This wall is not about about you, man. Because scriptures say, if you believe, you and your household shall be saved. So your 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 lack of faith, man, could cost you and your household, man. That's the day of judgment. That's what we dealing with, man, on a day to day basis. But our people fail to realize, man. <laughs> yeah, kind uh. This is uh, Proverbs 14 and verse 26. It says, in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence and his children shall have a place of refuge. All right. And that refuge signifies a place of safety. You know, those that call upon the name or uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and those that call upon it shall run into it and be safe. You know, and those of us that fear him call upon that name, man, in every situation that we're in. You know, the good and the bad, you know, we give all praise to you. How about see me outside? Because we know that he's a place of refuge and not to only call on him when we're in need. You know, the fear is what makes us reverence him in all things, man. Because you could be leaving out the house and barely escape a fatal accident, man. You be like, call along your how about see me outside? Because we know that. Our our souls could be required at any moment, man. Mm. You know, so that fear, uh, and and the name is a refuge, man. You know, is a is a safe haven. Mm. You know, uh, continuing on, verse twenty seven: the fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Okay, and that's what we trying to do, man. We trying to depart from the snares of death. So we have to fear the Lord in order to do so, man. You know, uh, you got it, bro. If you got something, um, that's all. That's all I had on my end. Kind, kind. We can uh close out on that, then, bro. You know, kinda. Lord, Lord willing, it was edifying. Um, to an uh, an elect member too. We want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Gosh. We'd like to give double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Hey, Shalom.